10 words you should start using to sound like a native speaker. 1. Ghost. We all know what a ghost means, but here ghost is a verb and it's a modern verb, a new verb. It means to disappear. So when you ignore someone for days, even weeks and months, it means you ghosted them. For example, she went out on a date with this guy and they were talking every day, then he ghosted her. It means he stopped texting and just disappeared without even telling her. So hey girls, advice, if someone ghosts you, they're not worthy of your attention or even one minute of your life. Don't sit and think about them and think why they did this or miss them. Just delete them, forget about them. They text you back after a month. Remember, they ghosted you in the past, they will do it in the future. Two, hooked. When you like something so much and you can't stop using it or doing it, it means you're hooked. Yes, just like a fish on a hook can't get out, same thing. You cannot stop doing that. For example, the new Netflix series got me hooked, which means I can't stop watching them. He is so hooked on his new girlfriend. Or you got me hooked on this game, so now I like this game and I cannot stop playing it. 3. Low-key. Something is low-key. Or if you keep it low-key. Or if you keep it on the low, it means you try not to make it obvious or known. So you try to keep it maybe private. So like you hide it from other people. You don't share it. You don't talk about it. For example, let's say you want to start a new business and you don't want anyone to know yet because you're not sure if it's going to succeed or not so you keep it low-key when she failed he was low-key happy which means he tried not to show that he was really happy but inside he was happy that she failed or this woman is so rich yet she lives a low-key life which means she loves a simple life she doesn't show other people that she's rich which brings us to number four, which is high key. It's the opposite of low key. Number five, a rip off. A rip off is a noun and to rip off is a verb. And it means when something is very expensive, it's more expensive than it should be. For example, that car salesman ripped you off. So he sold you an expensive car that's not really good. So he ripped you off. Or that restaurant is a ripoff. So it means it's very expensive, yet the food is not that great or the service is not that great. I use ripoff all the time. Remember, you should too. By the way, if you like this content so far, please like, share and subscribe so that I can teach you more content like this. Let's continue. Six shade or throw shade it means to insult someone usually indirectly and to make them feel bad or insecure why do people shade other people or throw shade at other people because they're jealous they don't like them they want to feel superior to them they want to make them feel insecure it's a negative thing to do i would never do it to anyone for example here's a conversation between john and sally Sally, I have great news. I passed my exam. John, oh, that exam? Well, that's so easy. Sally, oh, can't you just be happy for me? Can't you say congratulations? John, of course, I was just gonna say that. Don't take it that way. I didn't mean it that way. Congratulations, sweetie, you deserve the best. Sally, oh, really? No, I think you were low key insulting me. See, here we used both low-key, indirectly, without being too obvious, insulting me. So first he said it's just an easy test, everyone can pass it, which means like you're not that smart. And second, he just tried to hide it saying, I'm very happy for you, congratulations, I didn't mean it that way. So here John was shading Sally, or John threw shade at Sally. Seven, this, short for disrespect. He was dissing me. She was dissing me. She dissed me. Eight, beef or feud. Beef means feud means conflict. So they got beef. 
they got problems. They are always beefing. They are always in conflict. Nine, live rent free in your head. So if someone is living rent free in your head, it means they are always in your head, but they're not really good for you. It's like rent free. They shouldn't take that much of your time and energy and thinking. For example, just forget about her. Don't let her live rent free in your head. Don't let people that don't matter live rent free in your head. 10. Phase. Phase means bother. Don't let anything phase you, which means don't let anything bother you. Stay unfazed. So, promise me, next time you're going to speak English, you're going to use one of these idioms and expressions to sound like a native speaker. Oh, and tell me in the comment, which one was your favorite? I personally use all of them, almost every day.